Welcome Aries to your singles love reading. I hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we are doing a singles reading, yes, and I hope you guys enjoy the natural lighting. Um, so we are going to be looking into your situation, you and your person who's coming towards you. Uh, their actions, what they're thinking, what you don't see coming, and the potential future. I will be clarifying the cards also, and we will be pulling the untold messages of the heart. So Aries, let's go ahead and jump right in. These cards have already been shuffled for you. And just keep in mind, this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you. <gasps> I love that. Um, and leave the rest behind. You have the sun coming in in your energy. Okay, and we have a page of pentacles coming in, the knight of pentacles, eight of wands, the hermit, four of wands, the high priestess, and the two of swords. Um, this is probably one of the best single readings uh, so far, okay? We have the five of a chariot, the five of chariot, <laughs> the five of wands, and the chariot. And then we have the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords energy. Okay, Aries, very clear message. Someone wants to come in and apologize, I feel, with this Knight of Cups energy, possibly after an argument or a dispute or some challenges or blockages, and wants to move forward. Because the Page of Pentacles is here and it's clearly coming in to your energy and your energy is beautiful. It's the sun. It's the most happiest card in the deck, okay? So this is all about positivity, positive news, looking at the positive outcomes, the possibilities. It's just a very joyful, childlike energy. And I feel with this page of pentacles, there could be something that, you know, went stagnant and now somebody is wanting to communicate because we do have the eight of wands in the mutual. So that means good news coming in it could mean uh, messages uh, texts going back and forth a call now we do have the hermit which is stating that someone is withdrawing okay someone is more of isolating um, here so there could have been a withdrawal after this fight but i feel during this stagnant time this pause maybe no communication here there's a feeling of um, going within inner reflection soul searching okay so there could be a newfound wisdom here with this hermit card and i feel like it has to do with a foundation relationship stability within your home your family your finances your future and then we have the high priestess on what you don't see coming so i don't feel like you see this coming for a lot of you guys um the high priestess is more of, you know, this could be mystery, this could be secrets, um, something that is hidden from you, not yet revealed. It also could be your intuition here uh, with the, you know, uh, being very intuitive, um, seeing visions, however, but this is more of listening to your intuition, your gut feelings here. So there could be a pause within a situation, um, and I feel like this person is wanting to, they're determined to message you. Um, the Knight of Pentacles in the challenge, though, is a challenge. So the Knight of Pentacles is more of like feeling stuck, okay? Everything went stagnant. That's exactly what it means. So you could be dealing with the Knight of Cups, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here, but either way, we also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But again, let's go ahead and clarify. All right, let's get this Five of Wands energy. Ooh, the Empress. Love it. Okay, so this person could be looking at you as a goddess of the deck here. Uh, you could be, but with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, there's something here to where maybe you're not wanting to invest anymore. So this person could be thinking that you're not wanting to invest, um, not wanting to communicate. Um, and I feel like with this Empress energy, they look at you as the goddess, right? Somebody who's loving, caring, unconditional, who's pretty good on their own, really doesn't need anyone. And um, they could be very intimidated here. You're coming up very beautiful in their eyes. And that's why I feel like they're wanting to come in. Um, let's go ahead and get this sun energy for you. The Three of Swords. So you could be recovering here with this Three of Swords or releasing some heartbreak or something. Um, but this is more forgiveness and then moving on. So let's see what this Page of Pentacles is bringing. 
dishonesty, accountability, unfairness. I feel like someone is maybe coming in to discuss how unfair they, they have been because we do have the page of wands. I do see that this person is needing to take accountability and I feel like that's exactly what they're trying to do um, or wanting to do, okay? I don't feel like this person wants to hurt you. I don't see any seven of swords. I don't see like the devil. I may be speaking too soon. But this reading clearly feels like this person wants to, to bring fairness, wants to bring balance to you. But there could be, again, the two of swords, not communicating, no contact. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Ooh, they're looking at you as a lost opportunity, a missed chance. This person is definitely taking a step back. Okay. Yeah, the emperor. Ooh, we have the emperor and the empress. This could be like one of those situations to where you know your worth. You know <laughs> that you deserve, you know, the world here and you can get what you want. And I feel like this person knows that. And uh, they may be coming in to discuss something with you. I feel they're looking at you. They don't want you to be a missed chance. They don't want to put you in the past. That's exactly what I'm feeling here, Aries, because there's too much communication wanting to come in. What's this eight of wands energy? Oh, look at the world. Yes, fulfillment, harmony, and completion. The eight of wands. You can't make this stuff up. It's rapid action, movement, quick decisions. Okay, so somebody's definitely want to um, close out a chapter with you, okay, and move on to a new cycle. That's what I'm feeling like. Let's close this chapter and move forward. But let's see. What's this hermit? Yeah, again, the chariot. This is full force wanting to move forward with you. Okay. Um, there's no doubt that this person wants to come towards you. I rarely get readings like this, so I'm, I'm kind of like shocked <laughs> because this is actually a very beautiful reading. Um, yeah, it's like they come out of hermit mode and then they start thinking, I don't want to miss this. Maybe I need to fix something or communicate something. Let's get this four of wands. The hermit in reverse. Oh yeah, so they could be they could be feeling very lonely without you. Without you in their life here. Because there's no passion, there's no motivation anymore. And they're feeling lonely as the withdrawal is happening, and it's because there's a connection here. What's this high priestess? Self acceptance, freedom, new perspective. Okay. Can't get worse, only upwards. Inedible ending. Okay, let's see the two of swords confusion fear misinterpretation so there comes there could be some something here to where someone could be fearing the unknown or their perception of what it could be could be scaring them but in the end the moon is more of uh, when it's in reverse that means there's a lot of fear here of moving forward yeah, and the the wheel of fortunes in reverse. So something stuck. Something needs to be communicated. Um, something needs to come together, or something needs either to have this will move. Okay, because there's somebody that wants to move, but there's a big blockage here. Let's let's clarify this chariot. The hangman. This is all about surrendering, but also newfound wisdom. So it's something that is, something's needing to be released before something can move forward. So I feel like there's a lot of confusion because there could be no communication. Yeah, there's an unresolved issue here that's resisting a transformation within the situation, a transition. Okay, let's see what this person has to say to you. And then we'll get direct messages from um, Spirit. All right, let me just shuffle this one more time for you guys. I just want to have fun with you, play, 
You're the missing puzzle piece that makes me feel that I'm right where I belong. Home. Unresolved. So much has happened between us in the past. Can we work through it again? Respect. You deserve the best and I respect you and I want to do the right thing. So I don't feel like this is a player card because there's no, with the play, okay? Because there's no seven of swords. There's no devil. I don't feel like there's anything like that because we don't have any of those cards here. I strictly feel like this person has fun with you. They like, they love being around you. When you're, they're around you, they feel like home. And there's a lot of things that are un, unresolved here. And they're wanting to make something right. As we have in their um, energy, right? The justice card, which is all about doing the right thing. <laughs> okay. All right, Aries. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, messages from um, your angels. Direct messages. Whoa. Success. Wow. We have wait. And within the next few weeks. But it's saying to wait. Like, let the universe show you. Okay. Um, be still in this moment, I feel. Because someone is sitting in their thoughts right now. And I feel like it's this person. And by you waiting, as you are, they're looking at you as already the empress. Are you not even waiting? You're just living your life. Because the empress has other things to do, right? Other responsibilities. Um, I feel like someone just needs time to really process something. But we have success here. So either way, success and abundance is coming in for Aries. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the Lovers of Oracles to end the reading. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Wow, okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here for you, Aries. I really hope you enjoyed the, your singles reading. And if you like to see more of these singles reading in the future, go ahead and hit that like button. God bless.